Hi, so there's something I already want to share with you. It's this book I've been working on every day called The Daily Stoic um, by Ryan Holiday. And it's basically where I review a quote, a stoic quote every day and just reflect on the quote and think about how it maybe um, can uh, help my life and help my emotions, help to gain some control over my emotions, some sort of emotional mastery. And if you look through here, you can see like I've just been making, you know, notes, extensive notes on each page here. The idea is to do one a day uh, for a whole year. So it begins on January the 1st, but actually I started on May the 8th. Um, and so I'll be doing it until May the 8th, 2024. Um, as I started on May the 8th, 2023. Um, now, really the main lesson I learned from this was in fact on the very first day um, I think this is why it's on the first day. Um, and it's basically is it's to focus on what's in your control. All really a lot a lot of um, emotional mastery and the idea of actually um, being able to control your emotions comes from focusing on what's in your control and letting go of what's outside of your control in every situation. So, for example, um, this first page here is about control and choice. Now, um, I'm going to read a quote from here by Epictetus from um, his work called Discourses, which is included in this page. Um, Epictetus says, The chief task in life is simply this, to identify and separate matters so that I can say clearly to myself which are externals not under my control and which have to do with the choices I actually control. Where then do I look for good and evil? Not to uncontrollable externals, but within myself to the choices that are my own. So focus on what's in your control, not on what's outside of your control. I actually, in response to this, I created every day, I created this, well, I had this table which I worked on in my digital commonplace book every day, which is basically um, on one column, it's what's in my control, the other is what's outside of my control, and I'd write that many days, not not every day, but but a lot of days I would have I would have just... I, I, I used to do this a lot more closer to that particular day. Um, I would basically, um, you know, for, for the next few days after that and, and, and every now and then, I would add to this table just all the things that are in my control, all the things that are outside of my control in different situations that I was worried about at the time, different things that were troubling me. I would just focus, okay, what's in my control, what's outside of my control. And I also ex I created a separate table in, in this, on the same uh, page of my commonplace book, which is just for general principles about what's in my control and what's outside of my control. The really general principles, which really can apply to your life as well as mine. So I'm just going to read them out to you here. So focusing on what's in my control, my mind and how I use my mind what I focus on, what I do, how I use my time, how I plan my time, such as creating and following a weekly schedule, how I plan for my future, the habits I create and how I persistently and how persistently I follow them, whether or not I act in integrity with my highest values, what messages I communicate to others through speaking, writing, and non-verbal communication. How I interpret other people's messages delivered through speaking, writing, and non-verbal communication. How I interpret everything, including events, words, ideas, etc. The assumptions I make and the ability to notice how I deceive myself and to stop doing so. These are all the things that are in my control 
And notice, a lot of these things have to do with psychology. Pretty much everything that's in your control has to do, has to do with what's in the mind. And then we focus on what's outside of my control, the general principles. Here we go. Outside my control, what other people do, the past, the future, what other people think of me, whether others approve of me, rewards, compensation, acknowledgements, promotions from other people or companies, how much money I'm paid, the weather. It's actually, um, if you actually look outside, it's chucking it down with rain right now, which is quite uh, helpful here to illustrate my, my point. Chucking it down with rain. And there's nothing I can do. The weather is completely outside of my control. And of course, what happens in the news as well. So all of these things, all of these things are completely outside of my control. So just pause to reflect on that for a moment. I mean, that's, that's why I paused just then. It's just, it's quite profound, really thinking about what's in your control, what's versus what's outside of your control. If you just focus on the things that are in your control, that's all you have to think about. And then everything else, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, so just focus on what's in your control. And I promise you, you will feel a lot better. Okay, see you next time.